Hey, I'm Ryan Nicholas with the Damon Sells Homes team at Coal Banker Realty. And today I'm excited to take you on a tour of our newest listing in the heart of Falls Church, 6803 Farragut Avenue. So I'm gonna start the tour by sharing my screen with you. And we'll start by checking out the, the outside shot here. So this is the home. Uh, as you can see, it's got a, a, a classic four square design on a beautifully manicured landscape lot. It's a detached one car oversized garage. So there's great storage in that detached garage as well. And it's about 2,500 square feet, a little bit over 2,500 square feet on the top two floors. Now, everything that you see above the ground was new construction in 2017. Uh, you might notice on the listing that the home was constructed or built in 1943. What that refers to is just the original uh, small foundation of, this, uh, of the smaller home is, uh, is still there. So the cellar is actually the original, uh, original part of the house and it's about 230 square feet down there unfinished. Uh, but the sellers use it as a workout space, could be great storage as well. And uh, it's usable, but not livable uh, square footage. Uh, but the uh, above ground was, uh, the, the original house was knocked down and built new in 2017. So let me show you a little bit of the backyard as well before we go inside. So you can see beautifully landscaped yard, uh, not long ago, the sellers added this hardscaping back here. So there's an outdoor fire pit with a bench. I'll show you a closer photo in a second. Nice deck for, for grilling and entertaining outside. And they added a, a privacy fence around the exterior of the yard. And you can see this, is, this area is fenced in as well. So you have pets, it's great to re uh, release them outside. And uh, so you can see, here's a, here's a good shot of the garage as well. There's an entry door on the side. There's power out there, uh, lights on either side. Uh, again, great for storage or parking a car. The, uh, the driveway, going back here, so the driveway is beautiful, has the stone in between uh, the concrete. And uh, lastly, uh, here's, that, here's that fire pit set up outside. So just awesome. You can see they've got the, uh, the Edison twinkle lights outside. Just a great ambiance for, for uh, everyday living. So before we take the 3D tour of the inside, I want to show you a little bit about the area and the community. If you're not too familiar with the Falls Church area, we'll start in close and then, uh, and then zoom out. So here's, the, here's 6803 Farragut Ave. Um, you know, th this, this community that it's a part of, there's no HOA, anything like that. And uh, it's right across the street from this Jefferson Village Park. So super convenient. There's a playground right there, baseball field. There's a little stream that runs through it, trips run. And it's located uh, right off of Route 50. So it's super convenient for the, those of you who will be commuting. And um, it's, set back, it's set back quite a distance for, 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 from the road, but it's easy to get to. All right, so zooming out a little bit more of this surrounding area. So we're inside the Beltway here. It's only about maybe a 20 minute drive, if that, to get into DC. Uh, you're not too far away from the Mosaic District and uh, really close just down the street from Seven Corners. So uh, Seven Corners here, there's you know, a melting pot of all different types of cuisine, shopping centers. It's where these seven major roads all uh, intersect. And then again, not, not too far from downtown Falls Church and Broad Street with all the, all the restaurants and shops that it has to offer. I uh, love the culture of Falls Church City. Uh, when you come see the house, drive around, stop at one of the restaurants along Broad Street, have a great time. Um, an interesting bit of history about this house, I believe it used to be in Falls Church City, but no longer is. So you get all the benefits of being in Falls Church without the false, additional Falls Church City taxes. Um, so that's, uh, that's a little bit about the area. Uh, there's several grocery stores within about a mile. There's a giant Aldi, Harris Teeter, and, um, and a Target all within about a mile or so of the house. And uh, as you can see here, here's the East Falls Church Metro Station. West Falls Church is right up here. Uh, so it's only about a two mile drive or so to get to that, that Metro stop. So super convenient. So I'm super excited to show you this, uh, this 3D tour of the house. Um, you know, you have the exterior photo here a little bit. And uh, before we go inside, 
I want to show you the street view. So uh, it's a quiet through, uh, it's a quiet street. So excuse me, not a through street. Uh, not a lot of traffic comes through here other than just the residents. And uh, like many areas of Falls Church, you can see there's a house right across the street that's uh, almost finished being built. And uh, they're knocking down a lot of the old mid-century homes and building uh, building up new ones. So again, you can park in uh, over by the garage and come in the back door, or if you park here in the front, just walk right up to your front stoop. Beautifully landscaped again. Uh, it's covered, so in case it's raining and you uh, got to get the door unlocked, you know it's easy to uh, stay out of the rain. And you walk right into this beautiful foyer. So there's hardwood floors throughout the the main and upper level. And we're gonna go. You can go right or left uh, from the foyer here, but we're gonna go left and uh, look at this dining area. So the sellers added this built-in banquette here, uh, accommodates a lot of people for seating. Um, and when you have those big gatherings over for Thanksgiving or any other major uh, events or holidays, plenty of places for, uh, for folks to sit and gather. Uh, they've, they've added a, a lot of uh, really uh, trendy lighting throughout. You see the, the globe pendant lights over the kitchen island here. And I just love how open this, uh, this floor plan is and how it flows throughout the house. So again, uh, big, beautiful windows, letting in lots of natural light. Most of the time I go over to the house, the lights aren't even on because you don't need it. The natural light illuminates the home. So uh, here's the kitchen, probably the highlight of the house. So the kitchen here, uh, the hardwood floors continue. Uh, we've got uh, granite, beautiful granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, stainless hood vent over here, and tall cabinetry. Uh, throughout the, the main level, we have nine foot ceilings. So uh, tall ceilings. Um, we'll go to the other side so you can get the view from over here, get an idea of the sink area and uh, you know, window to look at over the sink, big, uh, wide and deep sink. And Nice big center island. This is awesome for entertaining. If you like white kitchens, this is a white kitchen. Uh, nice pantry storage over here as well. So moving along, uh, this door here goes down into the into the cellar. So uh, and there's like some additional storage uh, along the stairwell, and um, that's where you know the water heater, sump pump, all the uh, all the utilities are. Actually, the HVAC unit is up in the attic. But other than that. Those are down there. Like I said, the sellers use the basement as a uh, as a workout space, uh, but it could easily be used for storage. Uh, and then when you come in the when you come in the back door, you step in, you come right into the kitchen, um, or you can turn left and to go into the dining room here. So the dining room is open to the living area. The sellers have added this beautiful buffet here on, on, on the side with quartz countertops, built-in shelving that conveys with the house and uh, it flows right into the living room. So you can see the living room here has um, more built-in shelving, it's two ceiling fans, and there's recessed lighting all throughout the, the house as well that was added. Um, again, you don't really need it <laughs> during the daytime, but it's nice to have it. And then walking out to the yard here, just wanted to give you a 360 degree view of the yard. You can see the landscaping, fence, the rear elevation, architectural shingles on the roof. You got a gate access here, gate access here, and the garage. All right, moving back inside, we're going to continue around the home. Here's that living room again, more window space. You know, a, this great, beautiful architectural trim. Moving on to this uh, uh, living area over here. Again, more natural light, more hardwood flooring. There's a deep uh, coat closet right here. And the powder room on the main level has, uh, they've added this designer uh, wallpaper in here. Nice light fixtures and, uh, and pendant, excuse me, um, pedestal sink. And now we can go up to the bedroom level. So upstairs, uh, with the hardwood floors uh, continue. Uh, we come to the landing and uh, you turn right, right into the primary bedroom. 
So here's your view at the primary bedroom window. You look over the backyard inside. Nice spacious bedroom. The, uh, the walk-in closet has built-in closet organizers. It's a generous size closet. And primary bath has uh, a dual vanity uh, sink, beautiful light fixtures. One of my favorite features about the house is it has, they've added this Bluetooth uh, speaker that doubles as the vent fan and the uh, light fixture, but uh, it's Bluetooth. So you can connect your phone to it, your, your uh, audio device and just blast music while you're getting ready for the day. And uh, the shower is gorgeous. Got the frameless glass shower with deco tile. And that's your primary bedroom. Nice linen closet right there as well. Moving into the next bedroom. Now the owners have this set up as their, their home office. A lot of us have been working from home these days. So uh, here's the office with more built-in shel shelving that, that conveys as well. This one's uh, not attached so that, that doesn't convey. But you know, each bedroom has big closets. Let me level out here. There we go. And uh, moving on down the hall, we've got uh, bedroom number two. And uh, these first two bedrooms share the hall bathroom. And uh, we'll get to the third bedroom in a moment, which is, has its own ensuite. So bedroom number two, the owners have set up as their, their nursery. And uh, nice uh, corner windows there, big closet and get your attic access for additional storage up there. The hall bathroom, you get another dual vanity sink. Got a nice big window letting all that natural light in, more uh, deco tile and the tub shower combo. And in the hallway here, uh, we have the, uh, the laundry room. So laundry room is on the bedroom level, which is very convenient. You don't have to lug your laundry up and down. And here's that, that, that fourth bedroom upstairs. So again, four bedrooms upstairs, three full bathrooms, and then you get a half bathroom on the main level. All right. So that was 6803 Farragut Avenue. And uh, we've offered it to the market at 900,000. We go on the market tomorrow, June 18th, so that's Friday. Uh, so don't delay. This home is going to sell fast. It's the owners have taken impeccable care of it. And if you'd like to schedule a showing, please reach out to me again. My name is Ryan Nicholas with the Damon Sells Homes team at Cobalt Banker. You can uh, reach me on my cell phone at 703-915-5990 or email ryan at damonsellshomes.com. Thanks so much for taking the time to uh, go on the virtual tour with me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel down below so you don't miss out on any future videos and content. And thanks so much for uh, taking the virtual tour. I'd love to show it to you in person.